What up guys, uh, video review of the WWF Big Eagle Championship belt. Uh, this is, of course, most of you guys will know the title from the Attitude Era held by Chris Jericho, The Rock, Stone Cold, Triple H. Uh, pretty much the belt that got me into wrestling. Um, when I first started watching wrestling, it was a case of I need to own that belt at some point. Um, then when I started collecting replica belts, it was this and the European title were my must-have belts. Uh, European title was the first belt I got, but th that that sucker's hard to get with the WWF logo on. Um, I had almost given up getting this belt at a reasonable price, and I nearly sold out and got the WWE version. But I held off a bit more and I picked this up. Paid quite a bit for it to be fair. I'm just shy of about £300. Um, but it's in phenomenal condition. Um, I have, if you look at the top here, I have done some paint modification. Uh, it needs to be touched up kind of by this area by here. I've painted in here and here. Um, because of course on the real belt these never ch touched and these weren't painted. These were see-through. Um, well, not see-through, sorry, they, they were just blank, and you can see lead through the back. I've done the same on this side, but that's a lot more visible that the paint job needs touching up. Um, and on here also, the WWF logo was white on the original belt, I believe. Um, however, it's gold on the replica, so I've painted in the the gold logo on this to make it white, and it definitely pops off the belt a lot better. Um, as I said, the condition was phenomenal on this belt. It's clearly been looked after. Um, two side plates, the WWF logo. It's, it's, a, it's a fantastic looking logo. To be honest, I don't think it's any better than the WWE logo. The WWE logo is a lot cleaner, in my opinion. But yeah, WWF is where it's at. Um, on here as well, I know there's some people who go real extreme on their paint modifications. Kind of this shield could be painted in the McMahon family crest, but I'm, I'm happy with just the, the paint job on my main plate by there. Um, the second side plate on the right here, and then the property of WWF logo. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, a uh, little six side plate. And then you've got the snaps on this side, unusual, you got 12 as opposed to the standard 10. Um, and the strap is real thick, but it's thicker than most replicas, but it's it's no thicker than my European title. Um, it gets thicker here, and then goes out, whereas the European is kind of all the way down by here, but... It's no thicker, and then we've got the snaps on this side as well. And we've got 16. If I just turn it over for you, so you can take a look at the back. Again, this just reiterates the condition the belt is in. Um, it's got the original property of official licensed product sticker by there. Um, it's not a patch on these ones, it was kind of just stamped in. Uh, the figures in kind of um, product information. Um, one thing that the previous owner done on this, which I'm not a massive fan of to be honest, is he kind of painted in this, the uh, screws, the sharpie, and understandably it's kind of come off over time. But yeah, no, no creases, no rips, no tears, just absolutely fantastic condition belt. I'll just turn it back over. Uh, this, I'm kind of at war with myself as to whether or not I want to get it re-leathered. Because um, I, I really like the, and I know some re-leathers, they will do the tooling that you want. And the WWF all the way around would be pretty cool. But I kind of want to keep this as original as possible. Because it's got, it is official 2001 replica in just incredible condition. This belt... I got this, uh, I've had this about a year now, and taking it off the wall now to get this uh, video done is pretty much the only time I've handled it. 
it just kind of sits on my wall, pride of place. It's not in absolutely perfect condition, you can see there's a fairly large scrape by there, but to be fair, that's pretty much, I'm having a quick look now, that's pretty much all you can see. Oh yeah, one other thing I've done on here, which you can kind of see here now as well, is the the copyright logo. They insist on having them on there, you see they've kind of got them on every bit, which is a bit frustrating, but there's nothing you can do about that, I need to protect the logos of course. But yeah, this belt, an absolutely unbelievable piece. If anyone is a belt collector, I would highly recommend getting it. But of course, so you could go to the likes of Dave Millican or something like that and get them to make this belt as legit as they can for you, make a, a real replica. I'm pretty much, a, I've got five replicas now, I'm pretty much going to leave it at that and save for a real real belt made by the likes of Dave Millican, something like that, or Top Rope Belt. Um, I will probably get the Winged Eagle, which everybody goes for. Not my era of wrestling, um, I was still getting into wrestling at that stage, so I didn't really have any favourites who held that title. Um, but it's, from what I can see when it's made by those guys, it's unbelievable. So. Yeah, I'll probably get that, so um, that'll probably be it. I've got a couple more videos on my channel here of replica belts, so check that out. But I probably won't do a new video or buy a new belt until I can uh, get the real deal. So, cheers for watching, guys.